are back here in Toronto, Canada. Hope you're enjoying the show. This is Nick Beat on CIUT 89.5 FM, uh, hosting Hal again. And this is our special music show, but we're also going to be talking to, uh, well, we talked to Bob Gruen about part one. Now we're going to be talking to uh, someone that I just met very recently. And we, we got along like gangbusters. It's amazing. Uh, it's very good to have you here, Vernon. Vernon Chang. Thanks for having me. Um, some of you know me, uh, Vernon Chang, and as well, AKA Moverni. And I also have Sammy T, which is my PPTV hey, producer. It's always good to be here. It's good to have you here, Sammy. Now, Sammy's actually filming, uh, filming this interview. Yep. That's how we roll. Otherwise, he's got something stuck in his hand and can't get rid of it. <laughs> he's a multitasker. He's a multitasker. Well, it's good to have you both on Al Radio. Uh, a little later, uh, near the end of the show, we're going to be talking to uh, Laura LaRock. Laura's going to let us know what's happening with her CD release party. It's going to be fun. And she's also got an appearance at the Drake opening for Andrew Cole. She's going to talk about that. It's going to be happy and Jeanette. Vernon, how long have you been doing this TV show? Actually, um, I started uh, maybe 1.5 years ago. So it's been a short time, but um, it has been growing and uh, learning as I go with uh, gaining experience, uh, interviewing a lot of um, good people, local talent. And in recently, I've been interviewing you, Nick Bead. As well, I was entering uh, Toronto Raptors, Amir Johnson. He was giving back to the communities, and I was there to cover it. And uh, recently, I went to the America's Next Top Model uh, convention, interviewing Jeannie Becker, which is a very big fashion TV icon, and uh, some of the models, Danny Fernandez and Carl Wolf. So these are a very interesting experience for me. You, I saw you uh, interviewing me at uh, Oregon Bookstore, and I was re remarked right away to my friends that you didn't seem nervous at all. So you, you, you do, have you always been this calm, cool, collected doing this? interviewing jazz? To be honest with you, when I was in high school, I was a very shy person. Uh, I can't even do presentation in front of the classroom. And uh, just wow. just like growing, growing, and meeting more people, being confident. And it's the way it's just my character growing, growing. And no, on the red carpet, pink carpet, anywhere, I just being myself, I just want to be com comfortable. And I just felt like meeting everyone is like meeting a new friend. Now the show, what's the the goal, theme, subjects of your show. What's what's it all about? Yeah, my name, my show is called Mulverney on the Move, which uh, basically I interview all the local talent in, in Toronto across the GTA. And we are on pbtv.ca, which uh, you can see online. As well, there's 200 plus stores across the GTA. So whether you go to a store in Richmond Hill, Scarborough, downtown, or even Brampton, Mississauga, you can watch my show there. Every 20 minutes, you will see my show. And basically, wow. I just want to have a platform to uh, promote local talent. Wow, and that, that's something we've needed for a long time, because the city TV used to do that. They actually used to do that when Moses Nine was, was there, and things have changed, of course. Uh, Rogers, I think, bought bought them, and it, uh, they've changed. They're more internationally celebrity based on a, na a supernatural scale almost. But you're more local. Now, when you say local. Do you mean local Ontario, local Toronto, local? What? What? How local is it? Um, just local, like Toronto GTA. Yep. Okay. Um, so, yeah, okay. anywhere the Pizza Pizza store are actually located. It's Go ahead. it's like a GTA Plus uh, extension of the network. So as far to Guelph, over to Kingston, and up to Barrie, right down to the water. So wow, pretty wide coverage. And Mulverney has been a great addition to the PPTV network. Uh, when we met a couple of years ago. We clicked right off the bat and we made a, a rap video about the Raptors season. That was two years ago. Wow. Still, still waiting for them to make the playoffs, but yeah. one day. And uh, I, I just recognized his talent right off the bat and knew that we had to take advantage of his goodwill and his personality. He really, as he said, makes friends with everybody he talks to and just creates more opportunities to meet new people and share his opportunity, which is great exposure with those people, often up and coming people or established, uh, you know, athletes and musicians, entertainers, all, all sorts. Yeah, Vernon that was uh, set me, uh, I was almost going to say straight, no he didn't. <laughs> Vernon made me comfortable right away uh, and, the, and we, we hit it off. <clears throat> Are there people that you ever interview without naming them okay. that you don't have the chemistry? What do you do? 
You know, to be honest, right now, so far, I'm very fortunate I haven't been in that experience before. Okay. I felt like even though you felt like they might be shy, but for some reason, I, I'm not sure, maybe it's just the positive energy, the way I present them, make them very comfortable. But if there's a situation where they give you yes or no answers, you just have got to go with the flow and trying to open up their heart and letting them know I'm there and uh, giving them questions that they are comfortable answering. Okay. Now, PPTV is obviously a new network. Right. How, how new? How recent did it? When did it start? Well, it, it's actually almost six years old now. And uh, I joined the company iConnect, who created the back-end software to power PPTV when they were in just their pilot about six years ago. And we had about 20 stores. And then Rogers actually picked it up for a little while, and they ran the advertising and programming and eventually got out of that when around the time that Ted Rogers passed away and they were just cutting things. Um, so Pete's Pizza ran it for a year and then uh, basically our company decided to take over the whole project and bring everything in house. And at that point I knew I needed content. So I was on the prowl and luckily enough uh, I met Vernon and he's been a great addition. And actually we, we, I have a show as well that I host called That's Awesome. And we work very well in tandem because Vernon's always out there meeting new people. And That's Awesome is a user-generated content show for artists, musicians, whoever. Uh, and we give them opportunity to submit their videos at pptv.ca and essentially spread around to their friends, get 20 votes. And then that gets added to the loop as well. So again, more opportunities for exposure for people that are, you know, looking for eyeballs. Sammy, one of the artists, I mean, I'm going to have on after you guys, did she not get her uh, video accepted? That's right. Laura Laura Rock. Yes, and, and in no time. And in uh, no time, she, I know. She met Vernon, yes. and I think it was a day later she submitted, and I think a day later than that. Yes. She had all her votes. She was very efficient. <laughs> very and, amazing. And uh, luckily enough that she's here today, we're all here in the same place, so I'm going to do an interview with her for one of wow. the upcoming episodes. That's, yes. that's going to be great. Now, what about Matt Easter? pptv.ca. There, all you need to do is post your YouTube video and get yeah. 20 votes, and we'll get you up on the screens. Yes, Matt. Matt has been uh, incredible, and and and, it was, and again, a pleasure to have Matt and uh, John Davy on uh, on how. And now we've got Vernon Chen. Vernon, are you? How do you feel? You're in the hot seat being interviewed. What's it like? Actually, you know what? I feel very comfortable, but it That's is good. a very amazing experience. The other way around, that someone actually interview, and you want to kind of wondered like what kind of questions do you want to ask me the, instead of the other way around so I like that. This is Nick Beat on CIUT 89.5 FM on your dial and we're also on the internet worldwide at www.ciut.fm uh, we're also on Star Satellite 826 and Rogers Cable uh, 946 and Bell TV channel 970 in other words we're all over the planet this show by the way I just want to mention before we talk again to to Vernon uh, I do have a gig coming up with uh, the following poets Brandon Pitts Madison Shadwell Stedman party this is at a club called this very small club called the Sonic Cafe just across from Grossman's in Toronto uh, unfortunately we're on the same day as Matt's uh, a gig but we start pretty early around 6 30 and it's uh, pay what you can at the door. It's a new movement that I'm part of called the Gaddist Poetry Movement. And yeah, if you can come on for that, please do. And there's also an open mic. Vernon, uh, you're, you're not nervous. You, you do your job very, very well. Uh, I, I noticed that right. You make everybody feel comfortable. Uh, but yet you started out not being very comfortable yourself with public speaking. How did you get over it? The nervousness. You know what, I, I, I just felt just as I, as I grow in life, going through different ages, different step of the way, meeting different people, I realize that there's, there's a lot of ways that I actually can step out and be more um, natural and be more about myself, learning more about myself. And I think this is a great way. And I think one of the reasons it was that I really love the Toronto Raptors. And it allows me to bring in the energy every time going to the game, meeting people such as Sammy T, who is also a Die Raptor fan. You get to meet other Raptors fanatics, and you get to showcase, you go dance, you realize, you know what, I can do more than just a person who just sit in the game. And I think that that helps me a lot. Okay. Now, why the Raptors? Why that team? It's just... Not hockey or... It just clicks, and I just felt like back in a long time, 
Vince Carter, even though he's gone now, he was one of once was my favorite Raptor player, and I just followed the team ever since. And it just that it just grow and grow. And no matter what the team, whether they win or not, I'm still a passionate Raptor fan. No one can stop me from、uh, believing in this team. That's、uh, that sounds good. This is Nick Beat. We're talking to Vernon Chang on CIUT's How. Hope you're enjoying the show. A little last few minutes, we're going to be talking to、uh, Laura Larock,、uh, who later on will be、uh, at some point interviewed by uh, PPTV. Uh, Vernon Chang and his new show.、Uh, we're also、um, dedicating this show to the the memory of my、uh, uh, late love, Linda Mercer, who died exactly a year ago on the 19th of、uh, cancer, and. Uh, Uh, and、uh, to her sisters, who who hopefully are listening, my、uh, love and blessings to you, Vernon. You you've got a, a new show. You're doing really well at it. You're starting、yeah. to meet a lot of people that you maybe not have met,、uh, and maybe even including me.、I、want to thank Glenda Fordham, by the way, for、yes. setting this up.、And、thank you, Glenda. Thanks, Glenda, very much. For、uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have known、uh, Vernon. Vernon, I saw you at TIFF. Yes. I'm everywhere. That's、You're、why everywhere. the show is always on the move. <laughs> and if people want to follow me on Twitter, you just、uh, at Mo Verney M O V E R N I E. And、uh, yeah. Well, it, it's been a, a total、uh, total pleasure and much、uh, continued success. Thank you. And your show. And let's let people know again where to see it, how to see it, what's the name of the show. Yep. So you can check out Mo Verney at the Move on PPTV.ca or in over 200 Pizza Pizza locations around the city. Also, be sure. I know there's lots of musicians out there. Head over to That's Awesome there and and submit your videos so you can get them up there as well, and maybe even get an interview with Movern. Sounds sounds good to me. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. much. This is Nick Beat on、uh, Howl Radio, and I hope you enjoyed that.